Hello, y'all. Welcome to Trading for Scholarships. Please like, follow, subscribe. My name is Shane Miller, and I'm a teacher who came up with an idea after watching a video on Ellen and on the news of Demi Skipper, who decided to trade a bobby pin for a house. I noticed as a teacher that the students really didn't understand the worth of an item. Every day they would come, drop their phone, throw it around, and if it broke, they would just say to me, oh, my mom will buy it. And I was like, do you understand how much that phone costs or how much work they had to put in, two weeks of work, or a week work, or three weeks for some people to buy you that phone and pay for that plan? And they just didn't grasp it. So I was thinking of an idea that what could I do to help them understand that? Then I also had an idea of okay, these kids not only don't know the worth of an item, but they struggle with communicating with adults and different age people. For example, they might say to their friend, hey, you know, can we do this? Or hey, do you mind, you know, giving me this? But when they talk to an adult, they try to talk to me in the same way. And I was like, no, 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 we don't talk that way to an adult. Let's try to learn how to communicate with people not just your age. So this trading club, after I watched this video, I said, this would be perfect. I was like, we can learn the worth of an item and they can learn how to communicate to different people. So I get started this trading club in my school to everybody got a paper clip and they had to trade for an item that was worth either the same amount or worth more. And every time we meet, we talk about different ways to trade, why you might trade for a certain item, whether it might be popular, so it's easy to trade. It might cost more money. Um, it might be funny, so it catches people's attention. And all of these things we talk about during the trading club. And one of the things that my students, what I thought was really interesting is they all started thinking, hey, what can I trade with at my school? Because obviously there's a limited amount. Like, my friends, what can I get out of it? Whether it's pencils, uh, sticky notes, and then they went from water bottles to headsets, certain things that kids use every day. And I thought to myself, this is genius. And I was like, what if I started a trading club outside of school? Kind of like when I watched Demi um, Skipper's video that she traded a bobby pin up to a house and then traded the house back to somebody for a bobby pin, basically to donate it for it. Well, I took some time and I looked through YouTube and I didn't see anybody or find anything online of anybody trading to start a scholarship. And I thought, what if I use this money to maybe get something good enough that I could sell and then start a scholarship and then restart the process over again and try to help as many kids as I can that either wanna go to a trade school or wanna go to college or anything just to be able to help them get going just like Demi did with her house to give somebody back to me. And I thought, as a teacher, what better way to do it as starting a scholarship? So currently, I've been training my paper clip and training it for more and more stuff to raise up. And hopefully, if you would like to follow my journey, you can either reach out and maybe you have something great to trade, or if you would like to donate maybe the money that you donate towards, we could use that for a scholarship. But either way, I'd love to hear from people if you have anything that you would like to trade or don donate towards this scholarship, I'd love to hear it. Thanks and hopefully follow and you can hear my journey and my student's journey to trading a paperclip to something hopefully worth some big money. Thank you and have a good day.